Hi, Annie, how are you? It's Technicolor. And today I thought I could share another speed build. This time, my friend Nick NMR's renovation challenge. Let's check it out, shall we? I had never done a renovation challenge before. And honestly, I don't, I don't know if Nick actually created it himself, but I thought it was a really interesting concept. So basically what he did was he had a shell or a build that he had created and then he decorated it and made it into a fully functional house and then he ended up just stripping it down to the shell itself and posting that on the gallery and having that as the challenge. You could also use his original build and edit that so that you would have a little bit more of a, a plan in place for if you're not like that confident as a builder, I guess. But I, I went with the shell version and I had a lot of fun. Plus, I'm used to doing shell challenges where there are no pack restrictions. So any of my packs, I know that I can use because I don't have all of the packs. But in this case, I had packs that Nick doesn't. So I found it very interesting and very fun to go in and work with the packs that he has and not necessarily some of the packs that I love. So it was it was it was a very fun challenge. I I I enjoyed having that. Um it also made me appreciate Nick's builds even more because if you're unfamiliar with Nick Enamar, he's a fantastic builder and I ended up following him because I raided into him at the end of one of my Twitch streams and it was one of it was one of his first streams I think so he he hadn't been on Twitch that long and we raided and we were like this build is so cool because he was building on stream and I don't know we just we just became friends since then so kind of cool but Nick has such a great eye for this sort of thing and building in the sims and I thought it was going to be a very, very fun challenge, and it was. So I hope you enjoy it. So the lot that Nick and Amar had chosen for this build is in Oasis Springs. And I'm going to be honest, I've never built in any of the base game worlds of The Sims 4. Okay, so here, here's an explanation. Like, here's a full explanation. I got The Sims 4 because everyone in my Twitch chat had told me that I would really love The Sims. And I always just brushed them off because I was fully content playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I was obsessed with Animal Crossing New Horizons. But so many people in my community have told me, you're gonna love The Sims. There's so much decoration that you can do. There are so many worlds, there's so many packs, there's so many items, and there's gameplay, and there's building, and there's decorating. There, there, There's so many aspects to the game that because of how much you love Animal Crossing New Horizons, you will love this game. And I never, I never really believed them because when I was little, I remember hearing about The Sims and being like, that looks weird. And apparently I even asked my mom, and my mom had said that my brother and I were wholly disinterested in it because she was considering getting it for us, I think, as a gift. And we were like, eh. <laughs> I wonder how different my life would be if I had actually gotten The Sims when I was younger and The Sims 4 wasn't my first game in the series. But what do you know? What do you know? But I, I'm, I'm obsessed with The Sims now. I'm actually doing a legacy challenge that my boyfriend and I created together called Around the World's Legacy Challenge, which basically forces me to use all of these packs that I've now accumulated, but never really paid much mind to. Because before this, the challenge that I had started was the Little Mermaid challenge because I'm a huge Little Mermaid fan and I had island living because of mermaids and it, it, it was just like the perfect challenge for me to work on. But we were in Solani, so we, we didn't really do much of anything past Solani. 
And I even ended up getting seasons at some point during that challenge, but I had to fully turn all weather off. <coughs> but I had to fully turn all weather off because my Sims were terrified because it was raining within their home because parts of Atlantica, AKA King Triton's castle, we're like indoor outdoor because there's no underwater gameplay in the sims 4 but i don't know it, it it just ended up being a very fun challenge however i didn't really get to explore any of the base game worlds or any of these other worlds until i started doing shell challenges or I just started building on my own or using the gameplay in my own legacy challenge around the world's legacy. When I started Nick's challenge, I knew for a fact that I wanted the front of the building, at least, to be as similar to his original build as possible. So I wanted the front door to be in the same place and I didn't really care that much about the windows, but I did like how on the right side of the front of the house, there was a rather large window. And I kind of wanted to mimic that within my own version of the build. So once I did that, everything else sort of came into play. Like I decided at that big window, I was going to put the dining room and I wanted the kitchen to be very close to that. I just didn't know exactly how big the kitchen would be if I wanted this to be an open floor plan, which I do not like open floor plans. But I think I need to embrace them in The Sims because sometimes it's hard to see everything unless all all the like walls are down, which I, I don't know. I like to see everything. I like to see everything. How do y'all play? I feel like I do a mixture of both, but I end up doing these condensed builds that it makes it very difficult to do everything that I want. I... So I struggled with the actual size and location of the kitchen in this build until I decided to have it as a kind of square, very close to the dining room and to the entrance. And once I figured that out, you can tell everything else just fell into place. And honestly, this might be my favorite kitchen that I've ever built in The Sims 4. Again, I used eco lifestyle a lot, which by the way, I'm gonna call it eco living. I just will. I don't know why. I know that tiny living is a thing. I know that eco lifestyle is a thing. I always call it eco living. <laughs> I, I just can't, I can't get it into my head. But once, once I figured that out, I knew, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted there to be an eaten kitchen with the bench and the chairs. I know it won't be functional, but I, I still wanted to do it. I also wanted there to be a fully functional dining room. So I knew that it needed to be within the kitchen because you can see at first I started having it as its separate area. And then I realized, well, I'm not going to give them like two dining rooms. That's weird. So once I kind of figured all of that out, then everything else started to have more of a form. And I have to be honest, once I figured out the walls and the floor for the kitchen, I felt like I knew what I wanted to do with the rest of the build. I like having dark floors typically, and I don't normally use tile or anything like that in the game. But for some reason, the tile that we ended up using here on the floor in the kitchen, I felt like tied everything together. And then the wallpaper with that wood and that like, I guess, concrete at the bottom acting as a sort of like backsplash. I know it's underneath the counters, but still, I don't know. It just, everything felt right to me. And weirdly enough, we had just used this flooring and I think the wallpaper too in my Around the World's Legacy Challenge. So my Generation 2 Sim and his twin brother ended up going to Foxbury and I remade Briny Tower and I used a lot of Eco's lifestyle because again, it was like around the same time period of this build. And I think it's one of my favorite, I think it's one of my favorite build by packs, if I'm being honest. I, th I think there's just so many really, really beautiful items in it. I use them a lot now. 
<laughs> but then once we had the the kitchen set up in this way, I realized that all the other rooms were going to be very tiny except for the primary bedroom. So I still wanted there to be this open space in the back for the area to get into the backyard but also i wanted there to be a living room i wanted there to be at least be an office space and i feel like i was able to fit all of that in here i know it's a little tight but i also feel like that's realistic it's true to real life i feel like that's something that you would just maximize your own living space so i was really proud of how i was able to get that whole space figured out then I also wanted to make sure that we had a full bath. And I didn't know exactly what items I wanted in the full bath, but I knew that I wanted there to be a window and then I wasn't sure exactly where to put the window. So I, I, I really struggled with that. I really struggled with the cabinets. I wasn't sure with the cabinets what I wanted, but I feel like by the end, using this color scheme of like greens and blues that I always use, I feel like it all ended up looking really nice and cohesive, especially with the rest of the build. And I remember when Nick was touring the shells on his build, it was actually really funny because my boyfriend and I, we ended up going to my parents' house for a family birthday party. And I, I just pulled up Nick's stream on my phone because I wanted to see like if he was like done touring the build or anything. I figured I would just watch the VOD and see if I could see when he toured my build. But he was touring my build as I opened the stream. So it was like very interesting. But I couldn't, I could barely hear because like, again, it was a party, but it was, it was very cool to see him exploring my build. I ended up watching the VOD afterwards so I could see everyone's builds, but the uh the experience of like just popping in at the right moment was very funny to me i also really like these windows from eco lifestyle that have like they pop out a little bit because i want to decorate on that shelf even though there's really no slots for that shelf because it's just a window and i had an idea in place so if if you had seen on my stream my briny tower build it was my plan to have all the students have a window like that in their dorm room so that I can put all of their clutter and stuff on those windowsills. Unfortunately, uh, there was not enough space to actually decorate them <laughs> easily in my briny tower build. So all of those are kind of like basic except for like my Sims room because I just got annoyed with it. However, here I had a ton more space so I could actually like do the trick with like the shelf and then like alt dragging everything in with BB move objects G and I think it came out really well. I was very, very pleased with the way that it came out. Then in the primary bathroom, I knew that I wanted there to be like a separate room for the toilet, but then I wanted there to be a window at the tub, which again, privacy is not really a thing in The Sims 4. However, I still needed it to look private-ish for me. That's why I added like curtains here. But originally I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And I, I love having that angled window. I think it looks very interesting from the front of the build. You can't really tell it from the inside, except like if you were to be like in the tub looking at it, but I don't know. I think I think this space in particular looks really good and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I tried everything in my power to find a <laughs> a platform trim that would hide the clipping of the curtains and then I I don't even remember if I ended up putting a plant in that spot so I could hide it. I don't think there's anything so I don't, I don't know. You just got to live with it. But <laughs> I I don't know. I really think that this bathroom in particular came out really well. And it's weird because I feel like I don't normally build bathrooms like this. I like to have my sinks as part of the cabinets. I want there to be a space for two for two sims, but I really wanted to use all the eco lifestyle bathroom items. So I wanted the tub, I wanted the I wanted the toilet, I wanted the sinks, and the sinks are so hard to build around. But 
The sinks are so hard to build around, but I, I think I got it to work. In the primary bedroom, however, the space was laid out so weirdly once we had the bathroom separated and it was just a rectangle. I wanted there to be closets for two Sims. I wasn't sure exactly how to build it in. I did in fact start using the Blanche Devereaux wallpaper with the with the leaves. I, I love that wallpaper and I'll use it every chance I get. <laughs> but originally I had the originally had I had the closets kind of like facing each other, but then I felt like there wasn't enough space for your sim to get to the other side of the bed. So I needed to reconfigure it. And I I feel like I wasn't particularly thrilled with the solution I came up with. But then I watched Nick's stream and he was like, I never would have thought to format them in this position, but it really works. And then I was like, oh, well, maybe it does work. <laughs> so I, I, I was I was very thrilled with my problem solving abilities there and how it ended up being perceived by others. But. I was not that confident when I did it in in my own building. Also, something kind of traumatic happened to me around the time that this shell build was announced. <laughs> I had plans with my friends and my boyfriend to go see the Barbie movie, which I still have not seen. But I was streaming the morning of, and we were going to go see Barbie that night. We were going to go out to see the movie, go get dinner, However, during the stream, I started to get chest pain and I didn't want to alarm anyone on stream. So I didn't really mention anything, but I was like frantically texting my boyfriend any chance that I got, kind of saying, I'm not feeling right. Something is wrong. I don't know what it is, but it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It didn't quite feel like what I would assume a heart attack would feel like, but it felt like pain, like at the top of like, like around here. And then like, it kind of like felt like it was like radiating down. And I started to feel very panicky. I wasn't sure what to do. So I was talking with my boyfriend after I ended stream and I said, I'm gonna go to urgent care. I'm sure it's nothing, but it's gonna make me feel better. So I went to urgent care. They did a few x-rays from what I was talking about. They, they checked me out fully. And then they said that there was nothing wrong with me. So as the doctor who was seeing me was talking to me and uh, explaining everything, I said, so <laughs> like kind of joking around like this, this isn't a heart attack, right? Cause of like the chest pain thing. And they were like, well, let's do an EKG just, just to check everything and just to make sure. And I was like, all right. So they took the EKG, then they were looking at the results, and then the doctor came back in and said, normally they would have somebody there who would deal with things with the heart and would be the like, final send off person with this. However, since they were no longer there, it was her responsibility to tell me because of my results, she had to send me to the ER. Now, I've never been, I've never been to the ER for myself. I've never been to the hospital, only ever been to the doctor. I've never broken a bone, anything like that. And it immediately threw me into a panic. And thankfully, my parents live close by and I, I was able to call them and ask if they could take me to the ER because I was already starting to panic. I, I didn't, I can't afford an ambulance. <laughs> like it was, it was not. It was not a great place. And I I was just like panicked. And then at the ER, they told me that like everything was fine. There was still issues with my heart. So they got me a referral to see a cardiologist. And basically I had, I think maybe like that initial appointment with the cardiologist. And then I had, um, maybe like one or two tests. One of them was like a very big test. And I then was like, I'm going to relax and I'm going to work on Nick's shell challenge. I do think I needed this shell challenge. And I, I did personally thank Nick. I said, cause 
Nick, I ended up finding through a Twitch raid and um, we remained friends since, but I was like, Nick, thank you so much for this all challenge because I needed, I needed something to kind of like challenge my mind and also keep my head out of that space and just zone out and chill and just be totally relaxed working on something like this. I feel like I'm just saying the same thing over and over again, but I hope you understand exactly what I mean. And honestly, if you're a Sims player and you're building and maybe you're under like a lot of stress or something, you know how enjoyable working in the Sims and building and decorating like this can be. So honestly, I'm so grateful for the Sims 4. I'm so grateful for the friends that I've met on Twitch, um, specifically within the Sims community. I don't know. I, just, I think I needed this game at this at this time of my life. I don't know. I don't know. I I had a very 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 good time doing this shell. Working on the basement though. <laughs> I think I think I felt a little bit done when I was working on the basement. I think the basement was the very last thing that I did, and I think in total it took me about three hours because I. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. I wasn't sure how to format it. I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to do. I guess you can consider the basement having three beds and one bath because there's the Murphy bed in that one spot that I end up putting. Yeah, so I guess I guess you could consider it being a four bed house. Yeah, so you could fit a lot of Sims in here, actually. I bet I probably didn't even need to condense the office space and the living room as much as I did. I probably could have made that a little larger or maybe put, maybe even put the living room in the basement because I ended up having... I, I think I end up putting a desk in this in this basement front room, too. Yeah, so there, there's a ton of space for Sims in this build. Um, yeah, I end, I end, I do end up putting the desk. But one thing that I don't really like about this build, that for some reason I did not realize until Nick was touring the builds, is that the steps are open. Like, there's no back to the staircase going downstairs. So you kind of just, like, can see under the stairs and see the carpeting underneath. And all I can think about is how dirty that would end up getting because there's no way to clean under it. Like you would have to like, what? Shove your vacuum in underneath each chair? Like that would drive me crazy. It's all I could think about. <laughs> but for some reason, I didn't notice when I was doing the build. I was like, oh, this is a nice staircase. And I didn't even think that there was no, there was no way to get under there. <laughs> I guess you would be able to like, knock out one of the walls if you wanted it to be open but that's weird because it's into a bedroom I don't know but I I felt like it felt I don't know it felt like it was part of the theme because I think I think it's fitting for Nick's original build because I think his original build was supposed to be a 70s inspired house that we were now renovating and I don't know, I feel like having the basement like that, for whatever reason, it felt very kind of 90s, early 2000s to me. Um, not necessarily in the decor, but in, I guess, the overall feel that I got from that basement. I don't know, it felt like something that would have been from my own childhood, I guess. In the backyard, however, I knew that there wasn't a ton of space and originally <laughs> originally I wanted to put a pool this build would have been so different especially the basement because originally I wanted a pool that would be like there would be windows for the sides of the pool that would go into the basement so the basement would get some natural light as well but I wasn't sure if I was technically allowed to do that with the show build and I was having too much of a good time to ask and wait for a response so I I was just like I'm just not gonna do it because I'm gonna assume that it's not allowed and <laughs> I ended up decorating the backyard and that that little inset space is where the pool was going to start so I ended up putting all of my desert decor all of the plants and everything 
and that Strangerville tub that is just so weird. At least I think it's from Strangerville with all like the cacti in it. I feel like it's such a weird item and such like a hard thing to decorate around. Like how exactly are you supposed to decorate with that item? But okay, I'm a huge fan of the video game Stray. Like obsessed with that game. I had such, such a good, enjoyable time playing that game and there's there's an apartment that you get to like towards the end game that kind of has a tub like that and I was like I love it and I want to build with this as much as possible and I never find a way to build with it but we're in the desert in this world so I was like I have to use it now so I used it there I thought it came out really well and actually everyone in Nick's chat were super nice and they 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 really liked that decoration too so it made me feel really good but I I then wanted to mimic that sort of design in the front of the house so I did that as well by the way if you are interested in this sort of content and you would like to see more please consider subscribing to the channel and also dropping a like or a comment on this video because it really does help the algorithm and it lets me know if you if you actually like this sort of content or not plus if you would like to see more sims content from me i stream on twitch almost every single day and on tuesday and thursday mornings at least in eastern time I play The Sims 4 and right now we are doing my Around the World's Legacy Challenge and it's a ton of fun. If you want to see the rules for that, I'm going to drop them down below, but we're we're getting close to starting on our third generation. Um, my third generation Sim, Basil, aka Baz, is going to be a gardener and he's he's kind of just starting high school right now, but he... We're getting him ready. He's going to be in Hanford on Bagley. And honestly, I've been looking forward to this, to this um, generation for a while. So I hope you enjoy it. We would love to see you in chat. So around this point in the build, we're nearing the end and I'm putting all the finishing touches, all the last minute clutter. So why don't we pop into the game? I can show you around because I know that during a speed build, everything is just zipping around so quick and it's hard to really see everything. So why don't we check it out? So here is my submission for Nick NMR's renovation challenge. And this is the front of the build. We've got the side with that lovely big window. We've got our outdoor kitchen and then of course the other side and I really love both of these areas. I think it really looks nice in this space. You come into the front and then on this side you can see there's a space for shoes and mail. And then you immediately come into the kitchen. I'm so proud of this kitchen. I kind of want to remake it and put it somehow as similar as I can into one of my legacy challenge builds. Then you've got a dining space over here. You've got the living area with a space to relax in front of the TV, maybe read a book. You've got the desk here. You've got some blankets. You've got a, a full bath in here. You have this hall space with room to go into the basement or just sit down this is the primary bedroom i love this art i use it as much as i possibly can <laughs> here are the closets and a mirror and then of course the primary bathroom which again no privacy in the sims 4 but i i love it I would not be able to shower there without the without the curtains closed if this was real life. And then, of course, in the basement, you come down the stairs. There's a little workspace area over here. There is another pull-out bed if you needed. And then a hallway to either another full bath or two guest rooms, I guess you they they could be. Uh, that's kind of what I envisioned. I kind of envisioned like this would be like maybe like the grandparent and then maybe like the kid used to live down here and like maybe this is now their the guest room. 
Um, again, this is a nice guest room. I love using this from Jungle Adventure as much as I possibly can. Um, and yeah, that's that's the build. I hope you've enjoyed this speed build. And again, if you'd like to see more content like this, please remember to like it and subscribe and check me out on Twitch if you if you want to see this happen live. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.